Hello everyone, how are you? Jane here. Um, just thought I'd come on and say hi and share my fountain pen collection. Now this has um, been in the making for six to seven years now. Um, so I've collected these pens over a period of time. I use all of them because if I don't use pens, I get rid of them. I sell them or give them away. Um, so all of these pens that you see here tonight I actually use and I rotate regularly. So let's jump into it. Oh, Katie um, actually from another channel, she did a video like this as well. I'm going to put a link to her channel in the description box so you can go over there and say hi to her and have a look at her video that she did as well. Um, so anyway, first pen we have here, this is the Pelican M400 in White Tortoise. This has the most wonderful writing nib on it. It's really pretty to look at but it's also just really really lovely to write with as well. So that's pen number one. Uh, the next two pens I have and you've seen me talk about these on a previous video and use them are my Jinhao X750s in silver and the purple. Um, the purple is a really beautiful violet colour um, and I really, really enjoy using them. They're a very inexpensive pen. This one here, this Lamy um, Vista, was my first ever fountain pen. Um, I originally bought it with an extra fine nib um, and was just struggling with it. And my friend who introduced me to fountain pens in Texas, Leslie, she said, hey, why don't you try this fine nib? She said, I think you might enjoy using it a bit more. And it just changed everything. Um, I started to really enjoy writing with a fountain pen. My writing actually improved a whole lot when I started writing with a fountain pen. And for the first time in my life, I actually started holding my pen the correct way too. So previously, I used to write like that. I hope you've seen this, like that. And sort of strangle my pen. Now I actually hold my pen correctly. So that was huge for me because I'm not a spring chicken and um, to go sort of like 40 years or maybe not 40 years but say I don't know 35 years of not holding my pen the correct way. Um, yeah that was a game changer. So that was my this is my first ever fountain pen and I've still got it. I still use it. Um, the next fountain pen I've got is my Visconti Rembrandt in Dark Forest. This is a really lovely writer. I've been very fortunate with the nib. I know some people sort of, you know, find the Visconti nibs hit and miss. I have been really fortunate. I have three Visconti pens. They're not really, really like the high-end Homo, Homo sapiens or anything like that. But they're just really lovely writers and I enjoy using them. So that's that one. Um, my next pen is my Twisby Smoke Rose Gold. I believe I've got a broad nib on this. Yep. Um, also a really lovely pen to write with. Um, this one here, um, this Franklin Christoph Model 45. It's in blue orchid, I believe. Um, this is an eyedropper pen. So, um, you might put it like that. It's like a pocket style pen. Um, eyedropper being that you pull this barrel off and you fill the whole thing up with ink and in use it and it's it writes really well I actually bought this second hand um, of another pen person um, on a Facebook group and I love it um, next three pens you've seen me talk about these too um, these are the Wingsung demonstrators um, they come with a fine nib and I've kept the pink one, the yellow one and the blue one and they write really well like I was quite surprised I think each pen worked out to be about $7.50 Australian each which is really really good value um, and they're great little writers uh, the next pen I've got is a Conklin Durograph um, Abalone Nights it has a steel um, Omniflex nib. It's um, 
you know it's not my favorite pen to write with but I still enjoy using it and I you know one of the things I've discovered about using fountain pens is just because it doesn't write well with one ink um, you can try a completely different ink in it and it writes beautifully so you know some inks are drier than others some are wetter than others and that suits different sorts of pens so if you have a pen that you're not really loving and it's not writing the way you want it to um, just keep experimenting with it that's all I can really suggest uh, now this one here this was I it came it for like free in a stationary box it's like a Lamy knockoff and it's crap <laughs> it does not write very well at all so I mean I'll, I'll keep it I'll probably give it to Bella or something she'll probably enjoy playing with that um, my next one is um, a Conklin All-American in Raven Black and I've got a medium nib on this I enjoy writing with that one it's quite a chunky pen though like hang on if I put it next to a, a Pelican M400 you can see there's a bit of a size difference um, and this is the Gerograph and the Gerograph's about the same length but it's just not as girthy as what the All-American is so that's the next one um, so this one is my Hong Dian um, duck for a screen it's got a fine nib on it and you see me um, talk about this one and use it too it's um, it writes really well I really enjoy it um, my next one is an Estabrook sea glass in um, oh, sorry Estabrook SD in sea glass with a medium nib it, like all I've got Hang on, one, two, three Estabrook fountain pens, and um, they all write beautifully right out of the box. I've never had a problem with any of them, and I just love the material that's the ones that I've got that they're made out of. They're just, I pick them up, and I it puts a little smile on my face every time I use them. Um, the next one is this Platinum 3776 in Nice Lavend. Um, I've got I believe a medium nib on this mine has got and I've shown you this before it's got like little cracks through it it is now out of warranty I don't quite know what to do about it but I love the nib on it it's I don't know if you can see it. it's got like a little heart shaped breather hole hopefully you can see that anyway it's um it writes so beautifully that I don't really want to get rid of it but then at the same time it's a bit messed up that it's all cracked and everything too so I'm still thinking about that one and what to do um, my next one is a, um, a Lamy All Star in Cosmic um, this has got a medium nib and it's a really great writer great everyday writer the caps just pop off like that so I find them these quite good for work um, because I can just pop the cap off and jot notes without having to unscrew it and all that sort of stuff so it's quite good uh, the next one I have is my Twisby Diamond 580 and Smoke and Rose Gold um, love this it writes really well so that's all those ones I'll put them back in here I might have to squish some of them up actually So how many have we done so far? I haven't even counted them all. Okay, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So we've done 18 so far. So I'll move those off to the side. Now these pens here, these are my currently inked pens that I'm using for December. I have already written these ones dry and these ones I'm still using. So next one we have is this Kaweco Sport in Dark Olive. I've also got one in white and I can't find it at the moment. I don't know where it is. So, um, so I have two of these little Kaweco pens and they're, they're really good writers. I like, I really like them. I think the white one's got a fine nib and this one's got a medium nib. But um, my new pen friend Tanya was telling me that she actually eyedroppers these. So 
like she fills this barrel up with ink and puts just a little bit of silicone grease around here and I drop as the whole pen and I thought that is such a good idea so that's the next one um, next one I've got here is my Pilot Metropolitan Red Wave in with a medium nib um, this is my Visconti uh, Van Gogh in um, it's called the Novel Reader it has like green and reds and everything in it it's just a beautiful pen it also has a medium nib um, I also have this one it's my um, Estabrook SD in Scarlet with a medium nib um, this is my first bespoke pen I ever got um, this is from the River City Pen Co in America um, I call it my black green gold pen and it has a medium nib and it's just a lovely wet writer and just writes beautifully no matter what ink I put in it. It's just so enjoyable to use. Next one is a Twisby Diamond 580 in white and rose gold. Um, this is still got ink in it. This is um, the Twisby Eco in Transparent Blossom with a 1.1 stub nib. I've got hair everywhere. Um, this is the Twisby Eco Transparent Yellow with a medium nib. Um, and this is Twisby Eco, uh, it's a Twisby Eco tea actually. Um, in mint and it's got a 1.1 stub nib on it um, so this is my Twisby Eco um, in white and rose gold and it's got a medium nib um, I just love Twisby fountain pens I really do like I get so much enjoyment out of them and they hold such a lot of ink so um, it has, it has a really big sort of reservoir in it this bit here so it holds so much more ink than what a normal sort of standard converter might so that's the ones that I've been using this month um, so what are we up to 28 pens okay so next ones I've got are um, So this is my um, Twisby Diamond Mini in White Rose Gold and I love this pen but I'm not sure if you can see it, I've, um, I've really stained it. I mean it still writes beautifully but I'm just really annoyed with myself that I've let that happen. So but anyway, so that's another pen. Um, this one is my Sailor Compass um, in olive and it has a medium fine nib and it writes, I guess, um, because it's a Japanese pen it writes more like a fine fine or extra fine. Mm. No, it's medium fine so it writes more like a, I don't know, a fine nib I guess of a European brand for comparison. Um, Next pens are, what do you know? It's another Twisby Eco um, in Jade and it's got a 1.1 stub. Um, this is my other, this is actually my first Estabrook SD that I ever got in the Tortoise and it has a medium nib also. It's just beautiful. Should I just leave these? I should just leave them out, shouldn't I? Um, next one I have, this is actually from an Australian pen maker called Just Turnings. Um, I call it my matte rainbow, but I believe the material itself, like the blank itself, is called oil slick. Um, I've got a medium nib on this and it just, it's beautiful. It's so enjoyable to use and it just glides across the page when you're writing with it. Really lovely. Um, I've got this one here. It is a Lamy LX in Marin and it has a medium nib. Um, 
oh this has got ink in it too because from my ink swap with um, a pen friend so this one is the um, Toysby Eco in Lilac with a broad nib um, and then this is my Twisby VAC 700 in Iris and I don't know if you can see that but I just mine I can't get that water sort of that condensation out and that drives me that drives me a bit mad I mean I love using it but that annoys me about it so hang on I'll just pull these out too so hang on what have we got here so far I'll just keep them all out. I know this looks excessive. So we've got another two, four, six, eight there. Okay, so we had 28, so we've got 36 now. Okay, my next pen is a Lamy Safari in Cozy Cream, and I've got a 1.1 stub nib on that. Um, my birthday present from my husband and children, uh, my pilot vanishing point in uh, matte black and it has a medium nib. I'm actually missing some pens so I don't know whether my kids are borrowing them or my husband's borrowing them. Who knows. Okay so the next one it's another Jin Hao X750 in the copper. Um, I've got my Pilot Kakuno with a medium nib. That's also a really inexpensive pen, but a good writer. Next one is my um, Twisby Go with a broad nib. Yep. Um, Twisby Diamond 580 in just the steel or metal or whatever they call it. Um, that's got a fine nib. So this was my second fountain pen I ever got. This is a present from my husband and my kids oh, close to seven years ago now. It's um, a Twisby Diamond 580 pink and it's in a fine nib. I, I still really, really love this pen and use it all the time. Uh, the next one is a Conklin Durograph in the Demo in Rose Gold and it has an Omniflex nib. Uh, the next one is a Franklin Christoph Model 20 in Vintage Green and it has a medium nib. Um, the next one is another Visconti, um, also another gift. Um, it's I call it it's the Visconti Rembrandt and I just call it White Pearl. I'm not actually sure if that's what it's really called but that's what I call it and it comes with a fine nib. So... What do we have? We had 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. And then I've got the white Kuwaiko, so that's 47. I think that's it. Oh no, and I've also got another Lamy All Star in Tourmaline, so that's 48. I think that's it. That's a lot, isn't it? That's actually more than I thought I had, to be honest. But as I said, I use them all, I rotate them all, and, I, and they all write differently as well. They don't all write the same. Um, and these Twisby Ecos, like, they all come in different colours. It's kind of hard not to get caught up in that FOMO and not want to buy all the colours that they come out in. Um, but I have learnt to stop myself <laughs> and only get the ones that I really, really really want or the ones that I haven't got a pen in that color or something um, so that is my fountain pen collection um, I'll put these ones out here too I'll go through pen cases another time and I'll show you different pen cases that I've got so but these are all my fountain pens I hope you can see them all kind of thing sort of um, so and as I said I've been collecting them over a long time like this has not happened overnight for me um, and uh, along the way I've actually given people um, pens as well like friends who were interested in trying a fountain pen I've given them pens as well 
Um, as I said, my kids quite often come down and even though they've got their own, they'll still come down and grab a pen sometimes and use it and take it off to school and I never see it again. <laughs> That's happened. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I said, I'll put a link to Katie's video um, down below in the description box. Um, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a lovely day or evening. Um, and thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed and everyone who takes the time to watch. Um, I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you back here next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.